What's up, guys? Oh, what's up, guys? <laughs> that was perfect. Thank you. This is, uh, I'm here. This is Kelsey. She is my girlfriend. So it felt weird saying that. I felt weird. This is the first that. time I've ever said that on the internet. Ever. I'm his girlfriend. Um, she is indeed. And, uh, um, I thought, you know, she was sitting around today. She doesn't have to work till four. And I was like, why don't you hop on the pod? I've actually gotten a lot of requests of people asking you to be on the podcast. How Thank do you feel you about that? Do you feel good? I really appreciate that. Do you? Yes. People like her way more than they like me. And, well, that um, will probably change. What do you mean that'll change? After this. After this podcast? Oh, I've seen her like pictures of me. What are you going to do? You're going to be I don't know. racist or something? Yeah. Yeah. Pull a PewDiePie maybe? <laughs> Drop the end bomb a couple times? I don't even know who that is. You don't know who PewDiePie is? No, nope, this is my PewDiePie. career, and you don't know who yeah, PewDiePie is. I don't is. know who you are. That's all that matters. Who's PewDiePie? He's a, he's the biggest YouTuber on the planet. He's got like fifty I billion subs. Were. What? I thought you were. Well, to you, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. <obviously laughs> I can't believe I that just happened. A little bit. Why don't we just do that? Can we can we keep the. <laughs> Can we keep the romance to a minimum on this podcast? Absolutely. This, keep this strictly professional. Yes. This is very business. I'm f- I'm dressed professionally. As am I. Good to have you on the podcast. Thank you so much for having Kelsey. me. Kelsey. Can I put this microphone on the stand? Or are we- no, no, we're holding them today. <laughs> this is one thing I wanted to uh, address is that I feel like the podcast... Has, I've been stressing out about it recently a little bit for some reason. I don't really know why. I just, um, I want it to be good, which, so I don't know why I had her on, but, um, and so, and I feel like the fact that it's in the stand on the table, I'm like leaning forward, talking into it. My back's getting all sore. It's not chill. It's not as chill as it should be. And it's call insanely chill. Which I understand, except you're talking with your arms here, <laughs> leaning forward, like it's still on the stand. Sorry. Fine. Lean back. Take it in. Fine. Oh, yeah. Look oh, at this. Here we are. Oh, really getting comfy now. What's so what's up? up? What's up? What's new with you? <laughs> I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> Should we talk about marathon training again? Yes. Let's just talk. Like, I'm just here. I'm just here. I'm along for the ride. Okay. So you little. Do whatever you need to do. This is like in, in Iceland. I had to do the podcast and Devin and I were driving across Iceland in a little car that we had rented driving across the tundra pretty much. And I had to record it. So I had a little like lav mic and I just did it in the car and he would like, and then he would talk and I would just move it over to him. Like it's a tiny little mic and I would just move it over to him and it ended up being kind of a good episode. So maybe this one, (laughs) maybe this one will work out. There's a small chance. Now I'm super stressed. Yeah, but it's not looking good right now. Really? No, I think it's been going well. (laughs) <laughs> all right i mean think you're doing good <clears throat> thank you guys for having me Podster um, bay chode fam see she's already a fucking natural i listen do you i did did you listen to the most recent one i've i've like i've listened to like a lot of them to a few what's been your favorite this is news to me what's been your favorite <laughs> one the one i i went back in time Okay, and which one did you listen to? The Taco Tuesday one? Oh my God, Jesus fucking Christ. (laughs) I don't know, everyone was asking about it. Everyone was like, oh, is this Taco Tuesday girl? So this is Taco Tuesday girl. To to all the Chodester Bay fan pods that are listening right now, this is Taco Tuesday girl. This is her, this is the girl I was trying to impress. And clearly it fucking worked. I mean, this is weird. This is really weird that this has come full circle. I didn't even think about that. And I didn't even think about saying anything. But it's like, this it is... It has come full circle. This and is cool. Maybe this is the whole... Maybe... <laughs> wow. Never mind. I was going to say something I'm so cringing. fucked up. <laughs> no, it was like mean, was mean fucked up. Yeah, it wasn't... About me? No, it wasn't about you. I was just like, maybe, maybe this is how... Maybe this is just how, like, mastermind I'm being about the podcast. It, I'm kidding, I'm you, kidding. Don't, you don't actually <laughs> I'm kidding This is all a big Fucking just plot 
This is all just a segment. I'm I'm sorry. I just keeps oh it God, just gets sorry. meaner and meaner, and I'm sorry. I knew this was too good to no, be no, true. No, no, that's not. That's what. Stop. Stop saying romantic <laughs> shit. That wasn't even romantic. That was too good to be true. This sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep scooting close. <laughs> fully off the chair. So, you know, Cody's fully sweating. <laughs> it's so hot in here. As you guys know, this is a theme. It's so hot in this sweatshirt I'm wearing. We sweat every episode, I've- no matter who's here. If it's just me, we got a guest. Am I allowed to be right back? Everyone's always sweating. You can do whatever you want. I have to go change my shirt. No, yeah, you can't hot. take it off on camera. I wasn't going to. Okay. Um, can we just finish what you're talking about really quick? Yeah. Yeah, I watched your podcast. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for talking about me. And what did you think about the Taco Tuesday I one? I thought it was really cute. You thought it was cute? I was like... And what did you do? Describe the <laughs> face that you're making. I'm um, frowning a little <laughs> bit, but like, a, oh, my eyebrows are raised. I'm embarrassed that you listen to that. I'm not. And then my friend, my friends have all met you besides mm-hmm. one of them okay um i only have a few so and they met you she really does <laughs> and the one who lives in virginia okay she listened to your podcast mm-hmm. to get to know i feel like i'm screaming in the no, 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 it's fine hey guys um she listened to get to know you because she was like, she lists so this girl who has you, never met me before no, she was like i want to he- want to hear what this guy's about okay so she listened to the one I told you this, where you talked about me again. Okay. And what? When we went to the Ed Sheeran concert. Oh, yeah. And what did she say? So then I listened to it. Okay. And she I, listened to it first? Yeah. And, and what'd she, she say? Like, was oh, she like, was, oh, Jesus, fuck, Kelsey. She was what like, did you she get said, yourself well, into? She said, one, you could do better. Oh, my God. Two, I'm just kidding. No. She obviously approves. Okay. But then she was like, have you listened to it? And I was like, no. And she was like, give it a listen. <laughs> Why don't you give it a listen. <laughs> what does that mean? Because it was because you were like, you were like, oh, she's you talked about me. Okay. 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 So I listened. I wanted to hear what you had to say, and it was good. It was nice. Okay. Good. Good. This is this is something I didn't even consider. I didn't even consider the fact that when this became my career, that potentially I would meet someone and they would Google me, and a song called "Keep Your Dick Fat" would come up, which is. Is that it's something true. that also happened? I didn't Google you. I don't know. But like, I've Googled you. You have? Oh, yeah. What have you come across? No, I didn't Google you. Oh, I was I like, didn't. what the hell? Um, no, but I looked you up on Facebook yesterday and I almost added you. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going to add her. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I literally did. I'm not even kidding. I was sitting Waiting for the kids to get done with circus. <clears throat> and I was on Facebook and I Google, I hold, looked hold. you up on Facebook and was like, should I, I mean, he's like, my <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> we should like be friends on Facebook. And then I was like, so then I almost did. Then I went on my own mm-hmm. and stalked myself to okay. see what you would see if you added me on Facebook. Okay. And I was like, what? This is weird now. So then I just kind of put the whole thing away. <laughs> That's, That's really weird. weird. That's super weird. <laughs> Wait, also, can you just not gloss over the fact that you said what? while the kids were waiting for circus <laughs> and then you just kept going? I'm sure everyone is like, what the fuck is that? I don't think anyone would have thought twice about that. I would have thought twice. Like, you can't just like circus. What is that? <laughs> circus class. Like circ. Circuit, like clowns. Okay. So you're the, your kids. She has a couple kids, by I the way. I have two kids. Um. Who, you know, proud stepdad over here. (laughs) (laughs) I don't have any kids. I feel like, should I tell them how old I am? No. No, 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 don't. I think I'm so young. You are? They say that. She's not young. But she, so you nanny two kids. (laughs) Should we talk about this? I don't don't know know. how like personal. I don't know. I get pretty personal. Like I I guess so. If I want them to like get to know me. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Do I? This is probably something you should have thought about before. Yeah, I don't care. You popped on. It's my life. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> Can I change my shirt first? Yeah, go for it. Because now I'm sweating even more. Yeah, sure. Okay, talk about uh, this. Okay. 
She's got my, she's, I got my notes up on my thing. Um, update. Did I worry you talk about running? Oh yeah. Here, you know what? I'll tell this story. Last Friday. <clears throat> um, this is the, uh, Venice, the weekly Venice story of the week, the weekly Venice story of the week. Um, yes, I'm talking about Venice again, but this just, I had to talk about this. So Last Friday, I'm, this is the type of shit that goes down here. Last Friday, I'm walking to meet my friends at a bar down the street and show up at the intersection right underneath the Venice sign, like the main intersection in that, in Venice, like the one that everyone, all, every single girl takes a picture of the sign. I mean, guys do it too, actually. Um, when it's all lit up, it's like, oh my God. <clears throat> so walking up to that intersection, there's a dude sitting on a bench, uh, just doing his thing, just talking on the phone, fat dude, bald guy, uh, but just by all considerations and pretty normal looking, um, didn't look like he was fucked up or anything. And he's talking on his phone and then with one hand and with his other hand, he's fully just digging into his shorts. And so when I saw that, I was like, Oh, I know what he's going for in there. There's only, you know, there's only a few things in there he could be going for up the leg of his shorts. Only a few things, right? There's what are they? There's the dick, and then there's the balls as well. What? Yeah, you can come back. I was talking to you, right? So dick and balls. <laughs> um, what'd you say? There's what is what stain? I don't know. Um, guys, just pay no mind to the stain on her shirt. She was, <laughs> she was, um, she had a big, uh, um, uh, beef dip yesterday. <laughs> she was going in on a big beef, beef, big beef dip. Big beef, bib. big beef, bip, bip. Nope, not <laughs> okay, that either. So, anyways, <laughs> reaching in there, <coughs> right? <coughs> for some. No, I'm thinking, going for his dick and balls for sure. One of the three. I don't know which one it is. It's gonna be one of the balls. I don't know one okay. of the dicks. Right. <laughs> Could have a couple. <laughs> and and then he and then this is what he he can't quite get to it. I don't know if he's because he's like pretty overweight or what's going on. So he puts the phone down. Whoever he was talking to was just like, "Hey, man, could you hold on a sec?" Or like baby, maybe he was talking to his wife, I don't know. Puts the phone down on the bench beside him and then goes in there with the other hand. Now he's reaching in his short legs with both hands. <laughs> in one leg? In one leg. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm like, oh, he's definitely going for his dick or balls. <laughs> or both. At this point, I'm like, I'm thinking, but probably dick. He could be. Probably dick, I'm thinking. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? He might be pulling the whole thing out? I was thinking maybe he was going back back a little further to his taint (laughs) (laughs) i don't oh to his asshole yep (laughs) okay (laughs) okay maybe maybe but i'm kind of thinking now though this guy now i'm not telling the whole truth here i did see a little puddle of what looked like piss already underneath this guy so i had a little bias a little bit of bias. I was like, this guy's probably going for his dick. He's probably done this before already since he's been sitting here and he's probably going to do it again. Okay. Sure enough, as I'm crossing the street, this guy, I just see this urine rainbow spraying <laughs> out of this guy's like crotch area. <laughs> <coughs> he's just sitting on the bench with a phone beside him, pissing an arc. Like, you know that, you know the little sticker of Calvin from, um, I almost said Calvin and Harris. <laughs> Calvin and what the fuck is Hobbs. Calvin and Hobbs Calvin and Hobbs the little sticker that dudes with big trucks get and they'll put it on the back and it's like yes, Calvin pissing actually, on something yes. it was that but he was a big fat bald guy and he was okay. sitting down pissing out of the leg of his shorts but it was the same sort of arc he had the same sort of I, trajectory I onto the street and it was really scarring it sucked ass seeing that it wasn't good and then Did I will, and then I, as I was crossing the street, the I was like, no, I didn't. I was just like, oh my God, what the fuck? Crossed the street, looked back, he was done. And he had put the dick back in the short leg, pant leg. Mm-hmm. And he picked up his phone and just caught, kept talking like nothing happened. Do you think he told the person on the phone? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pee. And they're like, wait, are you in the bathroom right now? He's like, nope. <laughs> no, no, I'm at the bus station. No, not even the bus station. It wasn't even a bus, bus station. No, it's like, it's like a public bench. Oh. I don't even think buses stop there. I think this dude would just... No, I'm at the bench. Hang on. And the guy's like, wait, the pissing bench? <laughs> <laughs> and he just fully pissed. And I was like, I kind of admire that a little bit. Could you imagine how liberating that would be? Just, 
you don't even have to move. Just no. like, hold on, Gary. I guarantee it was not Hold on, honey. Liberating. One second. She's like, like are you he, pissing on the bus stop again, <laughs> He had George? to put down his phone and use both of his, <laughs> all of his might. <laughs> there was nothing like casual and like relaxing about it. It looked pretty chill. The well, thing, it may have looked chill, but you know he broke a sweat trying to get his dick out. No, Nowhere as much as I'm sweating right now. Nowhere close, probably. Same. And all we're doing is talking into mics, and I'm still sweating so hard. So I don't blame the guy for that. I have to sneeze. Pulling your dick out of your short leg sometimes can be a little bit tough. Go ahead, go for it. You can sneeze. I don't know. you dare sneeze. <laughs> I was, That's the one cardinal rule of podcasting is you can't sneeze. You've been like hawking up a loogie. I, <coughs> I've not been. <laughs> Okay, when I'm sorry, I was hitting the jewel this morning. No, I wasn't. I told you I'm not gonna smoke it to the did. weekend, and did I didn't. Did you smoke it last night? No, I didn't. Didn't even bring it. I wish I did actually a little bit into the thing. I said that. I said I wish I brought the jewel. But um, you know what you should do? What? <laughs> you know how um, Lil Wayne, like before he comes on, oh, you always hear him like sparking up a blunt. <laughs> <laughs> you should like rip the jewel into the microphone. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Thank you. That's a really, and then everyone like. I'm happy that we have me saying it on tape and recorded on here so everyone knows that that was I'm cutting idea. that out and I'm just going to steal it. Good. Just like everything else. It's a joke. Jesus Christ. It's a joke. I'm stealing it. <laughs> so I want to tell you actually about, um, not you particularly because oh, I've, so I've already, because <laughs> I've already told you, but, um. The people, so last night we were in the studio again with Christian, Diamond Pistols, he's the guy that produced the last um, couple songs. The last one being a remix, not even a remix, what did you call it? A cover, a cover of Owl City. Um, Which I wanted it, sorry, I'm burping now. I'm just excreting gas. Excreting's not the right word there. (laughs) Just gas out of everything. I think I just farted too. (laughs) Did you? No, I (laughs) <laughs> she doesn't think that sound sounds like a fart. It does. A hundred percent does. It sounds like a trumpet. <laughs> that sounds like a fart. One hundred percent sounds like a fart. <laughs> that last one was so. Um, good. Anyways, anyway. so what did? <laughs> Stop, Wait, really high stop one. Stop it. That wasn't that. Ugh, I've ruined it. I should have just ended on the good one. <laughs> so last week we're in the studio with Christian, right? We're working on, we're working on music. Um, and so we're working on this beat and it's like almost too good. The song's like too good. And Noel and I don't know what to do with it because we're not like actual musicians. We're just pretend musicians. Um, and so we're like, we're having writer's block. We don't know what the fuck to do. And someone goes, someone, Spock was there. I don't know if you guys know Spock. He's um, DJ, real cool guy. Um, and he was, he's like been helping us a little bit. <clears throat> he's been hanging out and helping us write lyrics because again, we're not musicians and he is. And so he's there and he was like, it kind of sounds like Al City a little bit. And we were all kind of like, that's like a strange comparison. And someone put on Al City and it didn't sound at all like Al City. But it was at the point in the night where we were like way we were like just absolutely delirious. It was like 1 a.m. We had made no progress on this song. Me, me, Noel and I, Christian had written the entire fucking thing because he can just do that. So you just write songs in three hours and they're like the, the they're like radio hits. I mean, Super Zan, perfect example. Radio hit. Radio hit. Radio hit. <laughs> 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 so we... Um, so he had written the entire song. Noel and I were just like, just standing there with our dicks in our hand, our dicks out of our short legs. <laughs> okay. And so we're like, we did, we, I don't know what to do. And Christian, usually when we're do when like that happens, he'll just like do something that will like inspire us to like write or something like that. Like in Super Zen, he like took that guitar out and he played the guitar during the chorus. So that's like what got us to come up with that hook. That's cool. And <clears throat> so he just goes, he just plays Owl City. And we're like, this sounds nothing like Owl City. And he's like, we're like, but we could rap over Owl City. And he was like, done, 100%. He took it into, into Ableton and made that beat in like 10 minutes. And then, and then we rapped over it. And it was 1.30 a.m. And we had this moment where we're like, what, are, what the fuck are we even doing? Why are we? We just went from this like absolute, real cool mainstream banger 
to rapping over Owl City in the span of half an hour. Now, you can't rap over Owl City. That's the whitest thing you can possibly do. (laughs) All I like to do is just imagine the two of you like standing there just singing the actual chorus together. Oh, my God. You should have seen it. It was like it was like Noel. I wish I I wish I saw that was the thing. You should have stayed. I should have stayed. Yeah, she came for a little bit just to just to say what's up and see the dog. Christian got this like fucking corgi. Which is the cutest? It's the cutest dog I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Well, you don't think so? Oh, I, your dogs. N- my dogs. Classic, classic it's true. dog owner. It's true, but that dog was definitely number two, three. Yeah. What? Do you I have, have two, two dogs? <laughs> <laughs> it was the n- number one smallest dog. Cute, <laughs> cutest, smallest dog. <laughs> it's definitely smaller dogs on earth. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're saying I'm smallest, s- cutest? Yeah. I'd say Smutist. it's the smallest dog I think I've ever seen. Smutist. <laughs> say that to Christian next time you see him. This is By the, the way, I forgot to tell you, you have like the smutest dog I've ever seen. I feel like he'd just be like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. Um, what, Christian? Yeah. I'll kill him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Sorry, Christian. What was I talking about? You were talking about Owl City. So this is the funny part that I was that I was talking about. So uh, we're at the point where we're right now where we're rapping over Owl City and we didn't even give it, a, give it a second thought. We were all just like, yeah, let's do it. We we're in a state where it's like, let's fucking do it. And so we start doing it and we needed a chorus. And we were both like, let's just sing the normal chorus. We had changed all the lyrics up until that point. And we were like, I don't know, it was just like laziness and tiredness. We we're like, dude, let's just sing... The chorus, like normally. Mm-hmm. Let's just re-sing it <laughs> instead of the Owl City guy who's who made the song right. and who did it in the best way possible. Yes. We're like, let's let's do that. The two of us <laughs> try and do that. Not singers. Let's just do it. And let's not change the lyrics. And we're like, we should we change the lyrics? And Spock was like, Spock was tired too. And he was like, no, man, I think sometimes it's like a little bit try hard to change the lyrics. Mind you, we're already remaking owl city if that's not try hard i don't know what the fuck is true and he's like i think he's a little bit try hard and we're like you know what you're right dude you're right let's just sing the chorus so noel sings it and then i go and sing the high part so good you can hear my voice in the background singing the high part oh yeah which it wasn't christian changed it to be good yeah it wasn't good at all it sounded like live there you none do you even know the words (laughs) No. <laughs> Might not believe your eyes. The thing is, like, so when I do the high voice, I sound like a cartoon character. And so <laughs> like there's like Mickey? a Snapchat of like the, his roommate, Graham, was like there with us. And he Snapchatted me when I was singing the chorus. And I couldn't hear myself because I had the headphones on. And I think it's like the number one worst Snapchat that's oh ever been taken of me. Oh my God, can I see it? Absolutely not. Why? Because you'll be mortified. You'll never want to have sex with me ever I'll again. i proud. You'll never want to have sex with me ever again. Well, at least I'll have an excuse. <laughs> I'm regretting this. What's that joke? Do you want to have sex right now? <laughs> okay. Stop. Um, so that so that's how. And if you guys have heard the song, it came out on. We I we were like, are we even gonna release this? And then because the original version was like really bad, and then Christian went in and like actually like fixed the vocals and like did his thing with it. And they were like, oh, it's still bad, but it's like. I don't know. It's like a fun, like throwaway track. So I posted it. It's on my SoundCloud. Posted it on Thursday. You can go. It's got 30,000 plays already. You can go. I've played it. She played it. And what'd you think of it? I loved it. <laughs> I actually thought it was funny. Like I, I told you, I like my jaw dropped. Yeah. It's not at it's, the beginning. Yeah. But then I was like, it's funny. It's <laughs> funny. It's funny. Everyone. It's funny. Okay. Seeing seeing Colby and Summer's face when I played it and the beginning started and they're like, is this Firefly? And I was like, yeah. And then the beat comes in and they're like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then Noelle sings about pubes yeah. and oh, their no. faces went like horrified. <laughs> they were both like, no, they were disgusted is what they were. They were both kind of like, and then the pubes part came and they're like, <laughs> and that's what their face was like for the rest of the song. They it's, didn't even listen to it. It's like, funny. Like it, it's disturbing. We didn't even, that's how tired we were. We didn't even think of it as like a disturbing thing. But we were singing pubes. If you think about it, like that's such a common thing. Everyone comes Pube? across them. Pubes? Pubes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just rappers don't talk about them ever. But like, you know, they don't, you know, they come across them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, yeah, I guess. Like, hell, hell, they probably even got some of their own. <laughs> They might even have they pubes. They probably do, but it's just like they no one talks about pubes. <laughs> Everyone makes it seem like everything's so great down there all the time. I highly <laughs> doubt it. <laughs> Rappers need to rap more about pubes. Tell us about pubes. Tell us like tell us situations where we can all relate, rappers. Yeah. Cause we all come across them, as Kelsey said. We've seen a couple. A couple? <laughs> a couple. A cubes. A couple of pubes. Cubes. Um, that's the lesson here, people. We need to rap more about pubes, and we need to be more stop pube shaming. Tolerant to pubes. Ever yeah. think about it? Yeah. Stop it. We all have them. We all have them. Well, some people don't anymore. You know, people do the laser shit; they get rid of them entirely. Stop lasering your pubes away <laughs> and just accept them. <laughs> Thank you for having that's me. The, that's the title. That's the title of this. Stop lasering your pubes and just accept them. One hundred percent. That's the title of this podcast. One hundred percent. Good. Um, <clears throat> all, speaking of music, Gucci Mane is doing a song with Jake Paul. That's a thing that's actually happening. Doesn't I thought me. that I didn't even I thought I was what I you know not a proud to admit this but Jake Paul's. <laughs> oh, you know what it was is that his new song. Someone tweeted it at me and was like, "You gotta you gotta listen to his new song." And like at this point, it's like, why why even bother? Like it, I know it's gonna be so bad, and I know I'm gonna just shut it off 30 seconds in and go like, how the fuck is this kid still making music? And, but I, for some reason I still did it. You listened. Did you listen? I clicked on it and it's even worse What's it than about? It, it's called the Jake Pauler's Anthem. Good. And it's about, it's, I guess it just is for his fan base to vibe out to, I guess maybe just to sing when they're like, Hey, thinking about Jake Paul, they sing the On anthem. On their way to preschool. Fourth grade. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Is that Lunch. in the video? He's like, shirtless dancing in front of a group of his fans and they're like six-year-old girls that's weird it's so weird it's so weird like dude just where where is the adult in your life that's just like hey don't do that man his parents you think like like the person filming it you don't think his parents were like hey man don't anyone that's involved i feel like is the same like just doesn't I don't think there's, I think anyone who is even involved in his life is the same. You, you think there's not one person I think, with a, even a shred of common sense? I definitely think there probably are a couple people who are like, eh, maybe we shouldn't be doing this, but okay. I mean, I guess so. Yeah, that's probably what it is. is people are just complacent. They're, yeah, like, There's like he's well, kind I mean, of scary. Fucking... Like I would be scared to be on his bad side. Jake Paul? Love you, Jake. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? No, like I'm just saying, like I feel like he's like very unstable. You think so? I yes. Think he's like I think he knows exactly what he's doing. I think he's. I, I, think I don't he's know. Terrifying. Because this song is not only is the video fucking weird. Don't dance shirtless in front of four year olds. Don't do it. Um, but the song is so insanely bad. I haven't. It's so bad. Haven't listened to it. And I don't. Do, uh, I would put it on right now, but I'm gonna get copyrighted. We can listen to it after. I'll listen to it later. It's like, it's to the point where it's like, why isn't, why don't you have one friend that's just like, dude. Yeah. Just maybe not this one, man. Maybe, maybe you'll get him with the next why don't one. You be, but just, why don't you be that guy? I am right now. Hey, Jake Paul, stop making music. We're doing this for you, Jake. Yep. Stop making music. So, and I was like, what? it just, man. And I'm not saying I make good music, but I think, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm kind of saying that I make good music. I, I, I like good music. I like the music well, that I the make. The music that you make is like, well, first of all, it's like good. Yeah. Well, no, but it's it's like funny. Like you're trying, like you're making good music, but you're also you're not trying too hard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. you, you're kind of making it like a joke, like, it's like, like satire, kind of. Yeah, but I think what every day bro was supposed to be which is jake paul's like first song that yes, came I, heard, I think I heard it was that banger I, it was an absolute dinger i mean that song spanks super hard but someone some people were saying it was the same sort of thing he was like kind of just like like really? they made it in like a day and oh they, i felt like it was he was trying really hard right i felt the same way like, i feel like it's the same with all of his songs well it's yeah really jokes but it's also like you're trying really try- hard he's definitely trying you're not trying that hard you're doing a good job i'm trying hard 
I'm trying hard to not to seem like I'm not trying. And you're doing it. Thank you. Tap mics. There you go. <laughs> I liked that sound. <laughs> We've been staring into each other's eyes this whole time. Yeah, we didn't realize the camera stopped recording. Um, all right, little update on my um, on my audition on Friday. The little update on my audition. As if you guys were waiting to hear with bated breath tell, how my audition on Friday. No, you had one? <laughs> didn't even. <didn't>, <laughs> Hey, a little update on the thing you guys didn't even know was happening. Um, it happened. So that that's good. He did it. So I had an audition on Friday. It was for a, a horror movie. <laughs> and it was... <laughs> in my notes, what does it say? Friday, audition. Didn't go that bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Fucking ruined it. Now I didn't have to talk about it. So Friday, the audition <laughs> that I had, it didn't go that bad. <laughs> It actually was the first time I like walked into a room and like, and the thing is, is maybe it was cause I didn't really care. I was like, I haven't really been auditioning that much recently. And so I don't know, acting like within the past like few months hasn't really been like that big of a focus. So I was like, whatever, I'll just go in and do it. And I did it and I was like kind of relaxed and I walked out and I was like, that didn't go that bad right. as you've Sorry. heard. Right. Didn't go that bad. It didn't go that bad. Um, which was a cool feeling. I don't know. I'm always like, I walk out of audition rooms and I'm like, I'm quitting acting forever. Never, ever acting ever again. And this is the first time that I was like, maybe I'll quit in a couple weeks. <laughs> right after I find out that I'm not going to get this role. Maybe. Have you heard anything yet? I haven't heard anything, so probably didn't get it. But Hey, at least you thought. Thought. It didn't. It didn't <laughs> go that bad. Exactly. Exactly. I love when we finish each other's sentences. Uh, same. Same. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, Y'all feel that earthquake yesterday? What did you think about it? It was so bad. It was bad for you? I knew it was coming. <laughs> you knew the okay. earthquake was coming? <clears throat> How did you predict an earthquake? Okay, I didn't predict. I didn't predict <clears throat> that the earthquake was coming. I was sitting in Meg's room. Meg is my roommate. Okay. And my best friend. Okay. <laughs> I was sitting in Meg's room and I was like, I don't know, we were just talking and I heard it. And then I felt it. Mm -hmm. Like I heard, I heard something and I sat up and I was like. Yeah. It like sounded like an explosion or something. It, you just hear it. you like rumbling. Like you hear rumbling and. I thought North Korea was back on their bullshit for a second. <laughs> I thought we were getting, I thought we were kind of getting, we were like donezo. I feel like, yeah, that one might've been like a little bit louder. You think so? Maybe. Because I think you'd still hear the boom and then you'd be like, well, this is it, fellas. And then the wave of nuclear, <laughs> like, you know, radiation would get you. But you'd have that, like, couple yeah, seconds where you're I, like, I, oh, I think, this is it. But the boom is probably louder than the rumbling of the 3.5 earthquake we had. I don't, I don't know. It depends. It it's depends hard for where me to, it is. It's hard for me to say because we were blasting the banger that we were making right. last night right. in the studio. We were just, it was just a dinger, dinging. Um, dinging away. Yeah, so so loud and so heavy and dope that keep it. I think if a nuclear bomb mm -hmm. hit LA, you probably wouldn't have even wouldn't even have heard it. Heard it, yeah. Probably would have just felt. Yeah, like you, just a little shake. Yeah. Good. Maybe I should start making music. <laughs> anyway, no, it was I. You didn't live here your whole life. Okay. In California. Yeah. Have you experienced earthquakes? Little ones like okay. that. Okay. But like y you just, everyone's talking about it being like, like the big ones coming. Yeah. But like that's, I've been, I've been prepping for these things since 93. Well, how have you prepped? Like you. What are you supposed to do? So you're supposed to have like emergency kits ready to go. Okay. Like when I taught, I taught preschool and when I taught we, every family had to bring in a kit and there had to be like certain I'm just, no, it's me. I'm fully sweating. Thank <laughs> there had to be, it's moving away. Yeah. There had to be certain, um, like, like foods that could last the whole year. And like, that's what you're supposed to pack. Like water, applesauce. Okay. Shit like that. Okay. Crackers. For, wait, wait, you're supposed to pack that. Like for, if there's an earthquake, that's your like emergency food. Okay. Just like in and a you closet somewhere. always have it packed. Yeah. Okay. And then when, right when the earthquake happens. Oh, one second. Food that can last for a year? <laughs> like, that's what I'm just saying. Like, when we had the families at my school make things that could last the whole year. Okay. And they'd bring them on, like, the first day of school, and then we'd put them in this thing in case there was an earthquake. Each kid would have their own little 
so that they can survive for a year <laughs> no, 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 no. in a, no, in a no, some no. sort of no, apocalypse no, no. <laughs> no, no, like situation. No. Nope. The food lasts the whole year. So the food's not going to go bad the whole year just in case While there's an earthquake. While they're fighting for their survival <laughs> no, you don't in understand. a zombie apocalypse. You are not, you're not getting it. I'm just picturing fucking I am legend, I, but with 32 preschoolers. I feel like I can see what you're picturing and yeah. it's just not what I'm saying. Okay. Like they bring it. Like Lord of the Flies type thing. <laughs> I think they'd have to eat each other eventually. Eventually. Okay. Damn. I didn't um, realize earthquakes well, were no. that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They bring it the f- like in case there's an earthquake. Okay. Any day of the year. Okay. At least they'll have this food and the food's not bad because they brought food that doesn't go bad. So it can last a year. Oh. Do you get what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. to survive off of for a year. It's okay. just to last. Okay. But they, they bring a year's worth. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yep. Okay. I get just, it. Yes. I get it. I get mm-hmm. it. So you're supposed to have one of those okay. here. Yeah. Um, but then like once the ground starts shaking, you're supposed to go stand in a doorway. Okay. I don't think that's true. It is. Someone was saying last night that, that, that Noel was like, it's actually wrong. You're supposed to sit beside the bed because the doorway can collapse on you or something. Like that's like actually the most, like not the most structurally sound place, which is what people think. Is that true? No, you know, you're, you're fucking insulted <laughs> right now because you know your shit. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe. No, I'm stressed now because maybe he's right and I would die. And you were in danger last night. No, I didn't even make it to the doorway. You didn't? No. So maybe you're fine. I was headed to the doorway. Were you getting your applesauce first? <laughs> I was like, that, that's a plot. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Meg and I, Meg and I were sitting. It's going to be a year before we ever eat again. <laughs> Meg and I were sitting there. And the, like I heard it and then I felt it and I jumped up to go run to the doorway because mm-hmm. I've been like, wait, like this is like my time to shine. I was okay. waiting for this okay. to happen. Okay. To go to the worst place in your house while an earthquake is happening. Talk to my mom. She told me it was the best place. Let's get her on. Let's call her up. Mom. <laughs> Hi, is this Kelsey's mom? <laughs> Hi, you're on air with Insanely Chill. <laughs> Just wondering, quick, quick cue for you. In an earthquake, are you A, supposed to be by the door frame, B, <laughs> by the bed, C, eating applesauce, or D, none of the above, or E, all of the above? Do them all at once. Yeah. Eat applesauce. <laughs> um, no, so I got up to run to the door. Meg freaked out because she was like, holy shit, it's an earthquake. So she jumped on me because she got scared. Okay. She jumped on me and like tackled me and we both fell to the ground. And she was on me. Okay. Fully. Okay. So if you, if the roof caved in, then you would have been fine. Probably. I would have been okay. Her. But in the long run, I wouldn't have been because Meg would be. To. I would be gone. Yeah. So. It got dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Anyway. On from so there death. was an earthquake, but Should, we are okay. We're good. I'm fine. I'm if, fine. If we barely felt it. We barely. We're okay. F- you want to stop talking over me? No, yeah. Go. Yeah. No, go for it. Go for it. You go for it. I'll go for it. I think, think you were I trying think to you say, were say, say something, something that you were in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say out in the studio in the valley, we barely felt it. But again, that's because the bangers, the whole thing. Right. Um, should we call people? Yep. You want to call some people? Yeah. All right. I mean, so they're going to be like, who, who are you? I put on my Patreon. Um, Again, this morning, I don't know if you listened to the last episode. By the way, I don't know what the you fuck happened with. Believe with your <laughs> <laughs> now it's stuck in my head. You can't just do that. I'm singing your song. <laughs> Noel, Noel last night kept going. Like whenever we like, we're having like serious writer's block. We're both sitting there like, just like, I don't know what the fuck to write. He, he'd be listening. All of a sudden he'd be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And he'd start going like this. He'd be like, and I'd be like, what? I'd be like, you got something? And he'd just go. You will not believe you're in a fucking god damn it, dude. And he he would did it he did it with like I, I'm in love with a stripper too or oh, something like that. That's a good one. It was kind of funny. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck happened to the last episode on YouTube, but it's like only 18 minutes and a bunch of people were complaining about it. I don't know if it's like a bug on YouTube or not. So if you didn't get to watch the whole last episode, I was calling I called people. I called Sex. people that my Patreon contributors. I called you guys and we talked a little bit. And I figured we would do the same thing except for the fact that we have three minutes left. <laughs> what? Well, Klug is going to come back. He has an interview. We'll just keep going. And then. Can he go in his room? 
We'll keep what? This is fun. Okay, we'll keep going. Ow. You can you can uh you can do you wanna <laughs> why are you making this so hard? Pass me that, yeah. Wait, do we have to stop actually? The I mean people when people love this. What? The people Do they? Hey, yeah. if you love this if you love this, raise your hand. Let us know. We have to call the people. I'm calling them. Ready? Oh, I didn't even I have oh my god. I'm always not prepared for this part. What? I gotta get a fake number. I thought you. Oh, you need. Should we just call him off mine? Block? Off your phone? Yeah, block yours. No, no, no it'll, Stars. it'll take five seconds to get this. Keep him, keep him entertained. Um. Talk about San Diego. So we went to San Diego this past weekend to celebrate Marcus's birthday. Marcus turned to 27. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> You're allowed to say that. <laughs> well, I tried to tell my age, and you were like, no. Well, because I don't, well, people know Marcus is 27, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, they'll know Because he's the same age as me. Okay, my birthday is on Sunday, so stay tuned for my age. She's way older than I am. Mm-hmm. Little cougar. I met her on Cougar Life. Cougarlife.com. Dot net. Cougarlife.net. Anyway, so we went to San Diego for Marcus's birthday. Um, <clears throat> it was great. It was a lot of fun. We, uh, all right, went to go keep we're going, no, <laughs> keep going. I think we're done. No, no, we went going. to, we surfed. Cody did. Yep. I did a lot. Good it was surf. A really good, good surf. surf. On um, Saturday. On Saturday, really which good. was Marcus's actual birthday. And then we went to eat breakfast at this really good place. And uh, then, you know, we uh, drank. Yeah, we just kind of dicked around and drank a lot. There San Diego's were, the best San place Diego for drinking. San Diego vodka, vodka Red Bull slushies. Yep. Uh, robot water, as they call it. And it makes your heart feel bad. <laughs> I was fully having palpitations. Were I think, you? I don't yeah. know. It didn't do anything to me. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, rub it in. Jesus. It's no, I don't know. tolerance. No, like, like the Red Bull didn't do anything to me. Um, so uh, sorry to change the subject. Love what you're talking about, but should we know, call? So let's call some sorry, people. You guys, I know that was exciting. Um, okay, call them. So last time people were like, "Why didn't you call any guys?" So I'm gonna call this dude. His name's Brandon Wyman. Let's see. Oh, if he if he ices me right now, the first guy I call on this podcast. Are you leaving a message? Should I leave him a message? A little voicemail action? See, this has come full circle again. I used to listen to voicemails. Your call has been forwarded to an automated one. voice messaging system. <clears throat> Six, four, oh, fuck. one. Ah, five. fuck. I'm going <laughs> to. His number to be on here. Uh, All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, that was Brandon. boring. Okay. Just, here, let's just call, call a girl. Let's call answer. Abby. Hello? Hey, Abby, what's up? This is Cody. Oh, my gosh. Hello, Cody. How's it going? I'm good. I'm just going to my dad's house. Oh, yeah? Where's where that? I mean, you don't have to say if you don't want to. Uh, <laughs> um, I live in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, what street What street is your... <laughs> I, you know, I don't really comfortable with someone in relationship here. You live in Omaha? Yes. What is there to do in Omaha? Literally nothing. What do you, what, what's, um, what's the day to day? Well, I go to school on all girls school. Okay. So I do that. And then like on the weekends, we hang out at Memorial Park. Memorial Park. Big so, shout out, big shout out to Memorial Park for anyone who's listening who knows that. Huge shout out for Memorial Park. <laughs> um, That's cool. Uh, hey, yeah, well. It's really fun. Um, you I just. Come here on your tour. Uh, yeah, I will. I will schedule a show in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm not going to I'm not going to do Thank that. Thank you. I'm probably not going to do that. Oh. I'm kidding. Maybe I will. I think I might. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I just wanted to say hi and have fun at your dad's place. Say hi to him for me. Thank you. I will. Oh my god. Thank you so much. No I worries. love you. Yeah, love you too. I don't know. Bye. Oh, <laughs> Bye. That was, that was great until you told her you loved her. I'm just kidding. It was a, it was a I'm, fake. I'm kidding. I loved her. I kind of wanted to jump in like 12 times. Uh, here's a little DM from somebody. It says, if you ever come in a girl's mouth and she doesn't smack her lips, then say it tastes like piss. She sucks. 
All right, I'll make a mental note of that yep, one. Make sure you do that. <clears throat> should we call Jasmine? Taryn? What should we call? Um, Garen. Garen. Let's call Garen. Garen. <laughs> I'm not laughing at your name, Garen. It's Garen. It's Garen Laplante. Laplant. Nothing wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with that name. Garen. I think Garen's a totally normal name. I think it is. Kluger, are you good? You're good. What? No, it's fine. It's all good. We're just chilling. We're calling people. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Garen. Hello, it's Garen the plant. Garen. So I think phone right now. Mm -mm. So leave a message or text. Dude, he fucking straight up like ignored that. Or do you he think his did. phone's off or something? It might be off. It seemed like that was one but ring I and he was like, you thought it was. Nope. You thought <laughs> he was there. No, what? No, I didn't. You were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You were so excited to talk to someone named Garen. <laughs> Again, nothing wrong with name Garen. No, I'm. I it sounds like it. Darren and Garrett mixed together. Ga Just pick one. Um, Call Anya. Okay, Anya. Hello. Anya, what's up? It's Cody here. Hey. How's what's it going? Up? How's, How's it going? going? I'm good. Oh, How are yeah. you? Jinx. Jinx. You owe me a soda. You owe me a soda. Uh, maybe we just said that at the same time, Venmo too. Venmo me right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Please. How? What are you, you up to? You owe it to me. I know. Why are you even talking right now? Holy you shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is this is the rudest phone call I've ever been on. <laughs> I like it. This I'm is a good change saying, of pace. Um, yeah. You're welcome. I'm kind of scared to say anything else. Good content. Yeah. It is. Yeah, what, are you, it could be. what are you up to? Um, just chilling, trying to find a career for me. What do you like? What kind of what kind of career are you looking to get into, or just looking for any career? Honestly, uh, well, I really want to be a park ranger, but I don't know how realistic that is. Like Yogi Bear type shit. Yeah. Like T.J. Oh, Miller yeah. and Yogi Bear. He's my favorite comedian. Definitely. Interesting. I, that's not I that's not the that's not the usual career path when you hear you know usually you hear vet or something. But what you can talk Ew, here, wait, Kelsey. Disgusting. What you don't want to be a vet? <laughs> why, are, why are vets disgusting? No. What the fuck? It's horrible. You think vet? You think, <laughs> wait, but you, yeah, you want to be a park yes. ranger? Isn't there some sort of isn't there like wildlife involved with that too? Um. Yeah, but it's not killing them. You don't or, kill animals like, and vets, do to, you? You. Yes, you do. You oh. have to put them down. Oh, like... You also save their lives. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way. Hey, sorry, Kelsey's here, too. She's talking. Hey. That's really... That was, that's an interesting perspective. Well, I... Listen, I wish you all the best in your in your journeys to become a park ranger. And if you do... Thank you so much. You'll have to hook me up with a park pass or something. I will. Okay. My dream park is probably uh, Olympic National Park, so come up. Perfect. Washington Love that State. one. Love that one. Big yes. fan, and I will. Have a great, great. Have a great rest of your day. You too. All right. Stop speaking. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> God damn it. She actually, did you even hang up, or did she hang up I first? I think she hung up first. I, she impressive. was so intimidating. Fucking impressive. I know. I just, I'm kind of like scared to like do another call. You know what? In fact, I don't think I don't it's think I'm going to. No. Okay, but I feel bad as clues about being on a phone interview. I think we got to wrap it up. Sorry, guys. See, this is the problem. I'll get a studio, and this won't be an issue anymore. Eventually. Sorry, we can't call more people, Anya. Yeah, sure. sorry, Anya. Next time, next time we'll go on. We'll, well be. I won't be on. We'll, well, yeah, but next time I'll call more people um, for a longer period of time. I know I, I say that every time, but and I'll, maybe I'll answer some DMs and stuff too. Thanks for watching, guys. Follow the Twitter. It's at insanely underscore chill. Follow her on Instagram if you want to. It's, I'm not going to say it. It's my name. It's her name. Yeah. Um, rate it on iTunes if you like it. Five stars. Um, and follow me on Instagram. It's at Cody Co. or Twitter or whatever. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Peace. Love you. I'm kidding. I don't actually. <laughs> Answer it. Hello. Hello?
Hello. Hey, is this Garen? Yeah, it is. I can't, I can't believe you called back. <laughs> I really wanted to. I, I was really, really upset when I missed the call. What are you up to? Why'd you, why'd you miss it? I was fucking insulted, dude. I almost left you a voicemail, but then your number <laughs> played, and so I didn't want the number to be recorded, so I had to hang up. Oh, thanks. You know, thanks for not embarrassing me in front of everyone. Yeah, no worries, but, dude. Yeah, man, I'm I'm in college. I'm at Elon University, and just my cousin really, goes to really Elon. Wanted- Sorry, I, I got Kelsey here. She's my co-host right now. Okay, that's that's where the who sudden. Goes to Elon? Who do you know? Who goes to Elon? My who do you cousin. Know? Her cousin. What's her? You know, we'll probably don't he say it. He plays baseball. He's a baseball player. I don't know you, what he does. You, probably not. Okay. Yeah. Probably don't know him. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um. Sorry. Sorry, guys. dude. I so just so good to talk to you, Garen. Talking to the phone. Don't talk to the microphone. I can barely hear Kelsey. Good to talk to you. Oh, thank, yeah, thanks. So what classes really to talk to you. What classes do you got today? What do you got going on? Uh, today, I made, a, I made a speech in front of um, the athletic department for a like, concussion awareness thing. That was the only thing I did today. Holy shit. Awesome. Hey, that's pretty impressive. How did it yeah, go? It did, you stu- did you stutter? It, you know, uh, yep, I completely missed half of what I was going to say. Oh, my God. But, you know, <laughs> that's they shit. liked it. They didn't know I missed anything. So. Oh, that's good. That's good. So you recovered and you did it. You concluded the speech nicely and everything went well. Yes, I did. My, I did my best. How's LA? Uh, it's good. Well, yeah, it's good. I don't know. It's a little bit cloudy today, and it's um. Yeah, but it's good. You know, it's you know? We're chilling. About to go surfing. Chilling. The good. usual. It's awesome. That's that's the absolute best. Well, dude, uh, good to talk to you. Congratulations on the speech, Kelsey. You want to say anything? Bye, Garen. Thanks for calling back. Of course. Of course, I'll call back. All right, Garen. Thank you so much, Cody. Yeah, peace. I was going to say something about his name at the end. He was so nice. I know. I feel bad now that I <laughs> fucking ripped on his name. God damn it. Garen, dude. Garen, You're a really nice you. guy. We were feeling, I think, a little down about the calls. Yeah. And then, um, but you came through at the end there. That was good. You called back. Thank you. Right after we made fun of your name. And I apologize, Gary. I mean, damn Darren. It. All right, guys, that's it for this podcast. (laughs) See ya.